Warning! This video is for fun. I am no expert just giving my opinion based on my personal experiences. Don't take it personal. So if you can't handle that, stop watching now, please. Thank you. What up, guys? CP the Tuatic. Oh, you know what's up right now? That's right, Lyle. And we have the top secret, top secret, I'm just going to give you a little peek, important information, packet right here. This, this little guy right here, that contains all the, all the good stuff in it. But it, eventually we'll get to that. But today we got some new tools, just a couple of items, but pretty cool items. And I'll be honest with you, the, the last one I'm going to show you you're really going to like, but I really like this too. This right here is, this is really cool. And I'll be honest with you, I almost made the mistake of buying the Matco one because I wanted a, a different jug like this for uh, filling, uh, having it. Because you know what, guys, uh, five quarts is not enough anymore. And a lot of cars are taking more, five, six, uh, even diesels, 12, which eights a little bit better. But this thing is really freaking cool. It's got a spout on the end here that you can quick turn. It's got a little nozzle that... Watch her come out there. Whoop! She slides in, she slides out, and she opens up and gives you a big pouring apparatus. And it's got this big uh, rubber deal here that fits nicely on the top here to fit in. Handy dandy little deal right here, and I'm sure that thing will get lubed up and slide on there very, very good after a while. But it's it's a soft, rubbery type t deal there. But here's the best part, even another quality, affordable price tool made in the USA. There's a the part number. I don't actually know the price on this, so I thought we'd do something that's fun. So I'm gonna guess the price on this. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spitball, and I think this is probably right around 35 bucks. Uh, I want to say probably 25 or 35, but uh, to be more accurate, I'm going to say 35. I'm going to go a little high, maybe. I'm thinking it's a little bit cheaper, but that's still a hell of a lot cheaper than the uh, Matco one. But this is an 8-quart low-profile oil dispenser and uh, pairs well with the uh, 19702 uh, dispenser. If you guys got those, you'll know that that's a little bit different one. It's just got, but you can buy the valve separate even. This, the valve on this, if it does break, they do offer these separately. So keep that in mind. But it's an awesome tool nonetheless. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to use this in the future. I might buy a couple of these. Because this I, I think this would be really good for coolant too, if I'm being honest. Um, it doesn't say anywhere that it's not good for coolant. But it's translucent white and I like that. But you can put ATF in here. This would be really good for ATF too. Uh, just because it's the perfect size, I think, to carry a lot of fluid and get rid of it. There's a lot of things you could do with this, which is really awesome. So, anyways, so we don't have a crazy big new tool release, but this is by far something that I've been waiting for uh, for some time. Uh, if you guys know, AST Aschenmacher has a fuel line disconnect set, and they have rubber bands. Well, I had that set, and it's basically falling apart, and it pisses me off. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you. Really, really uh, irritates me. Putting rubber bands on fuel line disconnectors, and I'm sure some of you guys have those and probably know this, okay? So this is going to really horn you up. I mean, this is really going to horn you up there, Jeff, okay? Uh, or, or, or Richard, whatever your name is. I don't care. Boom, shakalaka. And this is a master set. This is a part number 39480 aluminum disconnect set, 13-piece set. Uh, this is the first time I've been able to lay my hands on it. And I'm not going to lie to you. I've been waiting for this for a while. Let's deep dive into this because not only is it a nice 13-piece set, but it's very well labeled. It's got your Duramax, your Ford, your Ford Trans, your Ford, your other Ford Trans or Ford Disconnects. You've got your bigger Ford Disconnects, the 7 8s. It's got the GM Disconnects, which I've already got a couple of those. But it's got your 5 16 your 3 8 half inch, 5 8 and 3 quarter. Plus the Toyota transmission, Toyota Nissan, excuse me, not neat transmission, but Toyota Nissan fuel disconnects. And uh, we're going to look at the bigger one here real quick. But these have a very, these are very nice. The, I'm telling you, quality wise, 
Very nice. The best part versus the awesome honkers. That's right, boys. She's spring loaded. No more spring. No more or no more rubber band to lose, break, snap. Every single one of these is spring loaded. So you don't have to fiddle with that stupid rubber band on those AST ones. Not knocking on the AST, because AST makes good products, but at the end of the day, this is a definite upgrade, and I can't, I, I, they should, if I had AST set, I'd throw it in the garbage and buy these. I'm not going to lie to you, the, the rubber band's garbage. The little, these things are perfect, and I like how some of them are offset, uh, just a little bit more so you can get in there too. That's another thing that kind of I complain about. Uh, some of these have a little bit more of a offset to them, so that way you can get your fingers behind them and push on them, which if you have the fuel disconnect pliers, uh, maybe I'll put a picture in there, or uh, not that, but the disconnect pliers that kind of assist these, they work really well, but very well machined aluminum. Look at those bad boys right there. I guarantee you, ain't nobody, ain't no, ain't nobody out there got as nice a fuel disconnectors as these Lyle ones. Ouch. And they had some snap to them. Not gonna lie, that pinched my finger. But, uh, <laughs> I was a ding-dong there and did that. But, yeah, they got a spring in them. Whether or not the spring, how long the spring will hold up, obviously, we're going to have to see. But they've been well-tested. I can promise you that. So, uh, I don't think we're going to see any major failures in them. And, uh, oh, we got the Subaru disconnects in here, too. Uh, and, yeah, it's just a nice 13-piece set. I know. Why, CP, how could a guy get all horned up about uh, a disconnect set? Well, I'm telling you what right now, fellas. This is, uh, this is a game-changer. Uh, in my opinion, this is a this is an absolute upgrade. Not only do I love Lyle tools, but this right here is uh, is every bit as good. You know, Lyle just keeps stepping the bar up. Okay, making tools that are better. And we'll talk too about the last tool because some of you guys that are HD guys, uh, I didn't get this. I didn't get this because it's a heavy duty puller. And I don't really do a lot of heavy duty, but the yoke puller that came out, it's kind of a neat tool. Uh, I've seen guys that struggle with these yoke pullers. Uh, 60050 heavy duty for yokes and transmission rear ends. Uh, I've done, I, I, I could say that I probably could use this on some rear ends like the Ford. I know the Ford rear ends on the F 150s and stuff. I've had some issues. Those yokes kind of suck, but you know, I, I kind of do. All right. I pull it. I got a, I use my bar puller, I guess, a lot of times too, but uh, this would be handy too. But for bigger stuff, this thing is a beast. Uh, I've seen it in action. It's a beast. Uh, so. Don't forget to check that out. I will leave a link for the description for all three of these down below. That is an affiliate link if you are uh, so concerned about me uh, allowing that. Lyle did send me this stuff, which uh, I do work with Lyle, so uh, I consider it a partnership of some sorts. Not a sponsorship, but I like giving them input. They like listening to input. And I'll tell you what, the biggest thing is, guys, is I want you to remember here, uh, you know, I'm for the blue collar guy. I am all out for you guys to make stuff better. Uh, it's not about me. Uh, it, it's not about me. This channel is not about me. It's about you. Uh, it, it's really about the technician, the blue collar guy. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, tickle that subscribe button. Keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.